This smart suit is designed to help people suffering from muscular dystrophy perform daily tasks. It's a bit of a strange sensation, a bit of a new thing. I was, I was, I wasn't, I'm not too sure still what to think about it. Alex Hallam was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, just before his fourth birthday. A progressive life-limiting condition diagnosed in childhood, DMD causes all the muscles in the body to gradually weaken. The condition affects one in 3,500 boys born in the United Kingdom. Alex's mother, Emma Hallam, says the condition generally affects the legs first. So walking becomes more difficult. He's never really been able to run. Um, and jumping and things like that have become very difficult as well. And then sort of when you get to about seven to 10 years old, it progresses onto the torso and then onto their arms until it progresses through the whole body. And then with Duchenne, it affects your heart and your lungs because they're both a muscle as well. There is currently no cure for DMD, but advancements in technology are allowing young people like Alex to lead a better quality of life. One of them is this smart suit. It's being developed by charities Duchenne UK, Spinal Muscular Atrophy UK and the University of Liverpool. The project, funded by players of Britain's People's Postcode Lottery, is specifically designed to help people with DMD and spinal muscular atrophy to maintain the use of their arms. I think it would be quite helpful uh, for just, you know, like, let's say I'd done something and my arms were like, tired or something and I like, I don't know, they were like aching and it would be more difficult to do certain tasks with my arms. It would be more helpful because it would release or like not, not, I wouldn't have to strain my muscles or anything, it would just do it for me. The prototype of the smart suit is in the development stage, but the hope is that it will be available commercially in the near future. PA consulting engineer Jack Connolly is part of the team working on developing the prototype. Our job at the moment is to understand the requirements that people have, what they kind of do day to day, the different types of, say, wheelchairs and chairs that they use in their life, and really turn this into a product that both uh, works for them functionally, but also that kind of fits into their lives and their environments. Alex's mother hopes the suit will be able to help him lead a more independent life. The way that I see the suit helping Alex is maybe when he's working and he's going typing all day, that could really support him and also gaming as well. Mm. Not, and, and to do the simple things, you know, maybe one day like brushing your teeth and combing your hair or even, you know, uh, hugging somebody. I think that's going to help. Mm.